You join us now at event number four of the Born Network's Marble Championship Season 4, The Long Jump. This has only been featured in Season 2, the winner of which was the Ultraviolets, I believe. And very similar, of course, just jump off the ramp and see how far you can land in the sand as the Ice Chippers show us how it's done with a very high jump. And they will land around, what is that, 24, 25? 25.5, the benchmark has been set by the Ice Chippers. As next, we have the reserve member of the Red Riot with a nice high jump, but didn't look like too much distance. I have to see from the side angle. No, that was only around 22. Oh, not even, 21.7. We'll have to see uh, where that ends up overall. Draconics now, another reserve member. As they go for a nice high jump, that didn't look far at all either. Ice Chippers may have set too high a benchmark here. Ugh. That barely made it into the sand with a 16.5. That will be a contender for last place. Penguin Patriots now. As they get a nice high jump, that didn't look too far either. Some of these marbles having a bit of a struggle getting off that ramp. Ice Chippers showing us really how it's done, that 25. Now as we head to the Midnight Stars, Dark will try and show us a nice good jump, and there we go, that one looked much more like it. We'll see where that one landed. The 25, 25.2, so the Ice Chippers will remain in the lead for now. As we see the Foresters now with Bush, trying to see how high they can go. They almost went off camera, that's how high they went. But unfortunately, the more height you have, the less distance. And that is 20.6. That is not going to be great. It's not going to be last either, though, so... Silver lining. This is the Twilights, another reserve member. A lot of teams are sending their reserve members into these events. And that was a great jump from the Twilights. That is definitely going to beat the Ice Chippers. 27.2, taking a dominant provisional lead. The Swamp Crashers now. A captain among all the reserves, and that was a great jump. Very good one. Let's see where it landed from the side camera. 26? Yes, 26.7. So they will not beat the Twilights, but provisional medal for sure. Captain of the Starlights now. See how high they can go. They just won a gold medal in the Gravitrack Slalom. Let's see where this is going to take them. It's not going to be gold. And it's not going to be a medal either. 24.8. Provisionally fifth. The Berry Blasters now. Their championship uh, defense has not gotten off to the greatest of starts. Let's see if they can pick it up here. Oh no. That's going to be 22. 22.3. Sixth provisionally at the moment. Ultraviolets now. Let's see how high they can go. They did very well in the last long jump back in Season 2. They're going to jump a little off to the left, not very centered, but it's still going to be decently far with a 23.0, provisionally sixth, once again. Team Clarity now. Team Clarity have gotten dead last in both of the last two events, and so they really want to uh, get a good jump here. That's not really going to go their way. With a 20.6, that is going to tie them with the Foresters, at least they guarantee them some points, finally. But Team Clarity, after their bronze in the first event, as the black markers go for a really good jump. Well, that is a very good jump, actually. 27.4! The black markers have taken the provisional lead, with only a few jumpers left. The so Flaming Cobras with Slither will have another great jump. Not super centered, though. So they're going to lose a couple of centimeters off of that. There's that 25.3, provisionally fifth for the Flaming Cobras. And they will stay there if no one else beats them. As Team Watermelon come down, wanting a nice big jump. But that is not going to happen. A bit to the right. And again, not very centered. And that's not going to go far at all. 21.3, Team Watermelon will not finish in the top 10. And now our last jumper, Team Horizon. They got, or almost got a medal in Season 2 Long Jump. So let's see if they can replicate that. And that's not going to be bad at all. 
And that is going to be seventh with a 24.9. That means that the black markers will be your gold medalists for the long jump, along with the Twilights, who have secured their third silver in four events. Dominant run from the Twilights at the moment, and they will jump up to a dominant lead. 72 points over the black markers, 63, with block dueling coming up next.